Viagra, Niagara Falls, when she make it squirt. Take the barrel from a 4-5, put it into a 9 million, make it work. Yeah. Tell my enemies to stay alert. Watch my shooters out of there. I got a lovely show for y'all today. I got a lovely guest. Uh, big Ant is in the building one time. Check in, Big Ant. One time for one time. You know I'm here, big fella. Much love, y'all. Much love. Uh, it's baddies of the week in this thing. I, I woke up this morning on some forgetful shit. You know what I'm saying? Because I do so much. It's hard. You know, day, right? It's hard running a radio station, being an artist, and putting on other people all the time. But here at Putting On People Radio, pop can't get lost in the sauce either. You feel what I'm saying? So I got to stay on top of the game. This morning, fortunately, one of my P-Town, Peoria sisters, that's six feet tall and is definitely one, one of my baddies of the week, hit me at the crack of dawn talking about, I am so excited to see you today. And it hit me. You know what I'm saying? I can't take this day off. Even though sometimes we want to take the day off sometimes, and that was my plan today. Sometimes you don't have it in the tank because you get overwhelmed with um, the with the uh, with the ambush and the uh, art uh, artillery of weaponry that life hits you with. Sometimes it all just fucking hits you. And you wake up sometimes and you be like, "Oh, I gotta do this in fact. I gotta get this uh, done, or whatever the case may be." Thank you very much. Uh, everybody, make some noise for Sage. That's <laughs> Sage reminded me of my responsibility thing, re responsibilities and the things that I had to do today, which was rock out, putting on people radio, sexy Saturdays, and not only is she in the building, but I got Layla, I got Fiona, I got Ice, and I got the big foot model, uh, our OnlyFans page, don't forget to uh, follow, big ass, you know, blind side. That's who we got. And listen, uh, I got a few things to talk about, man. It's sexy, so I got to keep it seductive, saucy, and all the other good stuff. You know what I'm saying? I got to bring the bad girls out the good girls and the good girls out the bad girls. You know what I'm saying? It's the house of pain around this thing. It wouldn't be right, right, if I ain't putting a pressure on y'all. You know what I'm saying? It's everybody uh, for the pressure today. Make some noise. You ready for the House of Pain today? You ready for Sexy Saturday? Okay, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Before all that, I got to get to some of the things, like my sponsors. Number one, salute to Chicago Leader Alliance Worldwide Distribution, uh, Spotify, iHeartRadio. Uh, make sure you're rocking out with them kids uh, and them uh, mentors and volunteers. Uh, uh, real street, MVPs, man. Yeah, real MVPs, street level youth media, still virtually teaching these kids how to mix and master their music, follow their dreams, work their pro tools, and be unique and superb engineers. Uh, they're getting kids off the streets. They've been doing that for the last four or five years, after school programs, such mm -hmm. for lockdowns and all that good stuff. Salute to Duke, salute to Lisa on that and all their endeavors that they're doing over there. Work is real hard out here in the streets of Chicago. So when you're doing something productive and you're consistently uh, doing it, you know, you got to keep saluting. Another uh, organization I want to take the time to salute is Hojo Family Assistance Program that go out every week. Uh, they just did a joint Forever Legend, Hypno Carlito, uh, and Hojo Family Assistance Program food giveaway. They're doing them consistently. You got, got to give it up for everybody who's doing something for you, for the next generation, for people who are just less fortunate, you know? So let's make some noise for the people. Ah! Oh, 
Also, okay. Uh, also, there's a few things I want to talk about today. Uh, I don't want to call them artist tips. I used to give some artist tips. I just want to give some tips, you know what I'm saying, uh, and, and talk about some topics. Uh, I'm going to keep this real. I like giving out tips, too. Well, you're going to get your moment to shine, baby. You know, hey. you, you're too big. <laughs> you're too big around. Get my life back. <laughs> you're too hey, big. You're nice, man, you saw the tape. Hey. You're, you're too big around this motherfucker. My, 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 my black came out real quick. My black came out. My bad, my bad. Hey, you're too big around this motherfucker not to be shy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you already know, baby. So, uh, you know, I only got 10 minute segments. You know, I'm gonna pay sponsor time. I'm gonna make sure I keep this real quick, real bar, real oh, saucy and whatnot. Uh, you know, as a matter of fact, yeah, I'm gonna be right back after the music break, and I'm gonna give it to you the right way, only right here on Pop Radio. Still I try to be what you want. Uh, with your boy Big Ant, live right here at Pop Radio Worldwide. I hope we don't show on the live premium. We got the baddies of the week in this thing, looking sexy as you know it. Uh, bless every single one of y'all that took the time to climb up and come out here with your boy Pop. Again, make some noise for the ladies. <laughs> Back to the topics at hand. I want to give y'all, you know, uh, I'm supposed to give y'all the topic. If everybody want to hear me open my mouth and say I feel some about some kind of way about something every week. Sometimes you want to. I get it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, inquiring minds want to know. So I try to not get too personal. I try to not, you know, I'm an artist as well. You know what I'm saying? So I try to just, for the most part, let my moves and my music speak for itself. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so I try not to be too opinionated. I try to appreciate and respect everybody else's opinion. First thing I want to talk about is, I got a lot of brothers, a lot of sisters, a lot of people from my community telling me, hey Pop, you got a, you're a very big responsible voice. You got to tell the people to vote. One thing that I do not do at Pop Radio Worldwide is uh, politics or religion. Because we will be up in the house of pain, and I will be asking for order in the court, order in the house of pain forever, because nobody will ever be, it'll be a debate in this bitch. And we will never be right, you know what I'm saying? So I stay away from that. In the conversations of religion and politics, oftentimes no one is wrong. You know, it's just the hard part of people to feel stronger about what? And articulating their point. Exactly. You feel so strongly about it, it'll create a division within, you know, yes. it's just unnecessary division. I agree. I don't, so I try to stay away from the things. You know what I'm saying? But I hate. I, I, it, it bothers me. You know, I used to say I hate a lot, but I should stay away from that book. I don't hate shit. Man. I love my life. But it bothers me and it rubs me the wrong way when, and I'm not. I might be wrong, but when people put extra on top of my plate, like I should be involved in some shit. You know what I'm saying? That ain't got nothing to do with pop. You know? So in response to that. I think everybody should vote. Use, exercise your vote. Pop personally ain't voted in a long time. Why? Because I was, you know, on vacation for a long time, number one. <laughs> you know, and uh, it gave me uh, a different outlook on the whole, you know, justice system. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I came home, I made my own rules. I, you know, I, I didn't worry about what the government gonna do for Pop. You know what I'm saying? But, when you got dummy number one and dummy number two, you know, and those are the only choices that we have, it makes it very complicated and hard for me to go tell anybody to go, go support anybody. I will tell you again, exercise your right to vote. Um, I don't want to personally give my opinion on either of the candidates that we do have. I do not knock you or hate you and am upset with you. If you fuck with Trump or if you fuck with Biden, do your thing. But exercise from uh, your, your well, one's a bit of an overt bigot, but we won't get into that. You say what? One is a bit of an overt bigot, but we won't get into that. And I even heard racist too. You know? No, so bigot is another word for racist. It's just me being a nice, more uh, 
I don't care what the fuck you're allowed to racist, right? He's an oh, what I'm saying is he's an overt racist. He's, he's, he's overt, bro. He's, I, 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 that's my point. He's very overt with his racism, but it's discomfort with other races. It doesn't bother me. If that's that's my only major issue. Where I, when people say they support him, I try to look at them some type of way where I can't have it. I try to not involve it in politics a lot of times because I feel like a lot of people, whether they're Democrats or Republicans, do hold some racism towards some group of people, whether it be African Americans, Hispanics, whatever have you. Okay. I feel like most people do hold that. Yeah. But my point is my point to that is, um, you know, damn I lost my point. Okay, okay. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Oh, so check but check this out though, man. I you That's know, why I don't get I, I can, the fuck with them. That's I what, can't that's say I point. appreciate racism, but it teaches you, that, you know? Uh, I, I say the same thing. Uh, when you go different places in the world, you know, it teaches you how to how to move and you see it coming, you know. Um, but on another note, I can respect it. You know, again, Pop did 20 years locked up. Right. The brothers was over here, the Aryan Nation was over there, the Latinos was over here. You know what I'm saying? But and, do you, excuse me, but you, sometimes you feel like people use that and abuse their power with it. I feel like people uh, abuse their power with like, their- Abuse their racism? Yeah, with racism. No. You talking about specifically about Trump? Somewhere. No, because I'm just saying, all I was saying, ISIS, was that I could respect if I know that you tell me I'm racist. I don't so follow. here's the problem, not to like, cut you off or anything, but I think the biggest problem is what it is in our country is so important that we, you know, we, we, you, we unite because we all are part from different cultures and different backgrounds. And what Trump's, believe, what Trump's pushing is like a divisive set in between us, like a prison style system, so to speak, where it's like, well, we got the Hispanics over here, we got the blacks over here, we got the whites over here. And that's not what we come so far to not be. I understand why a lot of people, I understand why a lot of people dislike Trump. I get it. Right. And I understand why a lot of people dislike Biden as well. You know, they call him a creep, they call him, call him you know, and, and you know, I don't know, huh? He is being handy with the young women. Uh, like 24 my, my whole point is, uh, <laughs> exercise your right to vote if you want your voice to be heard. I'm going to keep moving this motherfucking shit along, because we will be on your neck, Trump, and the next thing you know, we'll be slapping and biting around here. Hey, who knows Yeah, what? I got good jokes on Biden, too. I don't know. I'm bipartisan with the jokes. It's Sexy Saturdays, man. I'm going to talk a little bit about something that I think uh, should be earned, free free to get, given, like respect, and uh, should also be valued, which is love. Um, I think you should, it ain't no problem. I mean, I see a lot of hatred uh, and coming out of my city since I'm a voice and still coming from my rough background, I think I should speak the change and why I speak the change and why I see the, uh, the, the picture the way I see it, man. You know, it's a lot of y'all, man, and it fucks me up in the city of Chicago that will only show the next brother, artist, CEO, entrepreneur, somebody trying to make it some love if they showing you love. And then when they ain't showing you no love because they busy or not really a social media person, you get booty hurt and you don't want to show them or you feel some kind of way. Or it either, it don't even got nothing to do with social media. Let's go a little further. You don't want to support nobody's business or what not because they ain't doing no more free stuff for you or because, you know, I need everybody to understand, man. Love is freely given, again, like respect. And when somebody gives it to you, um, don't switch up, man. Appreciate what they're offering you, what they wake up on the first every month and make sure that it's maintained as a personal business. Uh, and stay consistent with your energy. Bring the same energy they was giving you when they was looking out for you, showing you some love. You know what I'm saying? Don't be switching up and now you a little bougie because I'm sorry I can't fuck with you this week. I'm fucking with, you know, something that I already got booked and planned. Uh, it's simple as that, man. Keep the love consistent. Stop mm -hmm. hating on the next brother. Understand, especially some of y'all that don't put up your own bread. Looking for the next little free hand that respect the game, y'all. Respect this shit like the NBA, man. When you walk into a brother or sister establishment in the city of Chicago that's actually doing something professional for you, you take your head off. Salute, you know what I'm saying? Show some love sometimes. Uh, the next thing is uh, anything that you do in this industry, whether it's model, whether it's a chef, 
whether it's slicing cake, whether it's taking a picture, whether it's twerking for the video, whether it's the fitness instructor. We're with love, you know what I'm saying? Don't stop waking up so negative and all. Oh, I got to go uh, do this today. You know what I'm saying? I got to go do that today. Be um, appreciative and wholesome within yourself to know, hey look, at least I'm getting to do this shit today. There's a lot of people I know I'm getting to see. Uh, this year, we know a lot of people, I can name a lot of names, from Brianna Taylor to a lot of people that won't get to see the next day, they families again, uh, a fucking NBA or an NFL, NFL game, even on a virtual motherfucking screen with some fake claps, you know what I'm saying? So appreciate, man, that you get to wake up the next day and make a move, feed your uh, boo thing. Or... You said what, bro? I said, you said, you you know what? Yeah. LeBron, I, you know, I'm the oof. Okay. Pop ain't never been a LeBron fan. Pop ain't never been a LeBron fan. The only thing I was a, 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 a fan of Kobe was, was his competitive sport and his winning skills. Uh, you know, you couldn't take that from the mama. The mama was the mama. I'm a whole nother generation. He I was Shaq's assistant. He was Shaq's assistant. Yeah. He did it without Shaq too, though. But when he won his first three championships, everybody gave him credit for Shaq was the MVP. Jordan would never know Kobe MVP. I don't think they got a war for Kobe MVP. Okay. At yeah. the end of the day, LeBron, y'all yeah. shouldn't put them jerseys on. Yeah. That's all I got to say. I'm King James, baby. I'm wearing my jersey on. I'm wearing my jersey on. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna take it at six. Six? Yeah, we gonna take it at six, baby. Check that out. Hey, listen, this is Chicago, baby. It's your boy Prince of Pain, Pop Radio Worldwide, iHeartRadio, Spotify Premium. I'm gonna get right back to you after this little music break right here. It's your boy Polo G. Uh, yeah, Polo G, no dirt. No, no, it's just Polo G. Yeah? Get back with you. I need to see those music break. Decorate your block of red tape for them sliding in. So, baddies of the week was time. Uh, I got four amazing, beautiful ladies that I want to get to immediately before I get to my sexy topics and seductive, sexy Saturdays that we do around. I told you I'm going to put pressure on every single one of you ladies a little bit. Uh, I don't know if you've heard of the segment before. I, I, I call it like this, right? Mm -hmm. So, it's lamers in the game that ain't don't like me to call lamers. You know what I'm saying? We they need some to... games. They need some game in the You know, it's the NBA out here. If you ain't got the proper fundamentals and don't know how to move, and some some of these savages and guys in the industry nowadays need women to help us out a little bit and tell us how maybe you like to be approached, maybe how to uh, the turn ons and the turn offs because they don't know how to operate. I like to know. I like to know. No, no, okay. You're off. So, back to my normal schedule. 
I told you this shit is today. Okay, I wore, I swear I heart radio, I warned everybody around there about everything. You hear me? And I'm back on my motherfucking drill sergeant shit. What's my motherfucking name? Maybe I can't no more. Let me get back on my motherfucking shit. I got my evil face on now. You hear me? So, for those who are just getting in tune, it's Daddy's of the Week time. I want to start with the ladies all the way over here first. They're all beautiful. They're all talented. They all got something dope going on. And I'm going to make sure that y'all know that they popping where they at. That you're going to spam them. Tell them how pretty they nose and their face and their features. Tell them whatever you want to go through their page and show them some love. You know? Isis, how you doing over there? What's up? Make, make some noise. I got a little mouse. I got a little mouse. What's up, y'all? Make, make some noise for your mouse. You did. So, uh, Actually, this week, uh, you were featured in the video, man. You got down with us. Uh, yes. Much salute to you on that. I dropped the joint. It's on all. I don't even like to plug myself too much on this show. I got a new song. It's you called do, How I'm Cut. It's out right now. Salute to everybody rocking with it, copying it, sharing it. It's out everywhere. iTunes, Amazon, all that good shit. Video out right now with not only this baddie, but uh, about four or five other baddies. Yes, y'all. Y'all can check out the video, How I'm Cut, you know. So, uh, this beautiful thing that uh, you uh, definitely are a model, right? Yes. Uh, when, did, when did this start? I started about like a year, like a year and a half ago. A year and a half ago? Yeah. Uh, I like to give tips to the young ladies that are like 17, just getting into the game, real green, don't know shit about the industry, don't know nothing about. Give these la give me two tips to the ladies just getting into it about, you know, this this one of the first things you should do when you get into this, you know what I'm saying? Well, one thing for sure I would tell people Absolutely. with just anything you do in general. Okay. Like for real, anything that you do, put a hundred percent into it because there's always somebody behind you who's willing to do the job. And they're willing to do everything. But hundred percent. Don't half step. Because you know? there's always there's always gonna be somebody to replace you. Just give me one more give me one more tip. I would say no, um, stay humble. Huh? Stay humble. Stay, stay humble. humble. Too many cocky okay. people. Okay. Too many cocky girls. I've seen you. I agree people. with those two. Uh, and, yes, question sir. for the young lady. My question? Uh, for Isis. You got a question for her? Of course, of course. So, Isis, um, what is probably one of the hardest things you have to touch with when you say you kind of open to the bottom of the industry and start to like, kind of like, network on your own kind of growth? Now, what's the shit with the hardest thing the person that Being shy. Shy. Yeah. That's the, one of the first things you got over? Yeah, because... Confidence is key in this thing, guys. Confidence is key. It's like... It's not even that I'm really shy. It's more shy stay with myself. Like, I just be... You know, I just catch myself just being in my own probably being on my phone, just in my corner. But you have to... You have to be more open with people, like... Well, I'm gonna open you up right... I'm gonna open you up right now. How's that sound? It's okay. sexy Saturdays around this thing, okay, and uh, you just on, open, you just open the door right now. You hear me? Hey, look, Bree ain't here today. Okay, that's the little turned up one. Uh, Deidre also is very fun. Um, there's none of my you know estrogen energy co-host here today, so I got the head too upside the head. You hear me? Let's show. It's sexy Saturdays. Uh, I think we, uh, I'm gonna ask you, uh, you know, a little advice for these guys in a minute. But we gonna educate them right now on the sexy Saturdays. I told you guys if you guys were open to talk about your sexuality yeah. and maybe some things to educate your maybe new fans. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, sexual favorite position, Isis. What's that? Huh? What's your favorite sexual position, baby? I would have to say from the side. From the side. Yeah. That's a great position. That's a great From the side. <laughs> She's over here laughing at us. <laughs> she throws curveballs and sidearms. You know what I'm saying? What? You yeah, throw sidearms. You know, you know, you know, you know, okay, okay. You know, you know, you know what? Much. Everybody on our YouTube channel, make sure you leave a comment about what she said about she likes it from the side. You hear me? Okay. I got another one for you. Swings or no swings? You like the swings? Swing. You ain't oh, never did that no. extra uh, acrobatic uh, type shit? Hell no. My no? big ass gonna try to do something sexy and fall, so let's just leave all the extra shit out. Okay, alright. We don't need to swing around and find a slide and shit. One more, one more, one more for you. 
I had to write this shit down. I had to write this shit down. Outdoor sex, yay, nay. That's a Wow. Outside, like outside. Outdoor sex. Well, you know what? If it was on the beach. Don't kill yourself right now. I would put the gunshots up in this motherfucker. Is that part of you being shy or something? Okay, okay. well, it depends on where. Let me say that. It depends on where. <laughs> hey, check this out. We're gonna have no law and order. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, check right, this I'm out. Gonna order in the house of fame. Order in the house of fame. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get back to you. We're gonna get back to your shot outs where they can follow your your goods and good stuff and all that good stuff. Oh, We're gonna keep it very sexy Ooh, on Saturdays right now around this fact. Okay? Um Tiana. Where should your boo, well, somebody you've been fucking with, right? Messing with already a little while. This ain't your first day. Mm -hmm. But this somebody you, you know, you fell in and y'all been, uh, you know, wrestling and everything already a little bit. You wrestling a little bit, don't you? <laughs> yes, you wrestling. Okay, so, uh, the first time this, your, your, your partner in crime was going to take you on a fantastic little getaway, where should he take you? Uh... What should he expect? And three things for sure that you bring. Ooh. Oof. You get deeper now, brother. Oh, oh, it's sexy. Look at my day work. Look at what I said. I won't go freestyle for two weeks. I wrote my shit down, and I'm on the neck. Pressure is still. Come on, Gally, you got me. Uh, Where should he take you? Bali. I say you take me to Bali. Bali? Yeah. Where's that? Bali? Bali? Is that part of Bali? No, put me up. Really? And you like in the south suburb? I need work in the north suburb. Is that what we Come on, put me up. Put this is up. It to him Everybody, yeah, make some noise real quick. <laughs> Everybody, make some noise for Tiana's on the right now. She's telling me right now that I should know what body is, and I'm sorry, I did 20 years, baby. You know, I'm still catching up on the on the Facebook Live shit. I'm going to give you the. Exact so, what is body? Break it down, though. So, the listeners can. Okay, let me know. Let me know. Okay. Bali, Indonesia. It's in okay. Indonesia? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I thought so, it was Okay, so you want to go to Indonesia. That's why I didn't say it yet. I was going to say Indian. What's your joke? What's your joke? I'm sorry, Ant. Oh, you good? I'm good. What's your joke, uh, partner in crime expect? Uh, industry. Like, what's your joke? Well, you know, this is your, you know, first fantasy. Okay. 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 I'm going to tell you what you do. Okay. This is your you know, fantastic I you you know, And three things you're going to bring with you. And this trip we made. There we go. Good luck. Damn, so you definitely with the house, though. Yeah. Okay. Four and uh, yeah. three I'm things that you for sure gonna bring on this little trip. Well, on this trip, I know I'm definitely gonna bring me. That's one. Two. I mean, I'm just gonna bring me everything that I got. It just, it just don't have to. I can't take you to Romeo. That ain't easy. You gotta get passports and shots. I got a friend out type of different blue <laughs> place. They're going to quarantine you in a couple of countries. Right, boy, I'm big as hell. Like, clearly he got bit by something. <laughs> I'm just going to be in there, boy. So, uh, I'm going to let you lay it on Layla, baby. Uh, eh? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to let you lay, lay it on Layla real quick. All right, so, I'm still stuck on Bollywood. Uh, anywho, uh... All right, so what's your idea of a nice first date? You meet somebody, you know, you know, females don't like to tell you what to do on the first date, but they definitely have an idea of what they want you to do. So, you personally, what would you think would be the great idea for a first date? You know, you meet somebody, you know, you probably catch your she here, like, you know, how would it go with how would it go with that? What would you like look forward to as a first date for him to surprise you with? You know, well, help him play out. Definitely knowing where we're going, picking the location, and um, making sure I'm picked up, making sure he opens the door for me, um, somewhere where a we're... A gentleman, exactly, a gentleman. Okay. Somewhere where we can be to just be... Everybody make some noise. There's Layla on the mic right now. That is So at least it be a jump. Yes. Okay, so with that point being said, interrogated. No, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's say you on the right guy. You didn't describe necessarily what you would like, kind of like the ambiance, what you would want. One, two, 
I'll be like, what kind of points you take away from the non thing? Let's say you do everything else nice, right? You keep this, you don't open your door. You know what I'm saying? Like, how do you feel about like small stuff like that? And then let's say he don't move the seat for you, but he do other general shit and whatnot, but he don't, let's say, move the seat like he's supposed to. Like, you know, a real man like myself, you know. Well, but you know. <laughs> no man is perfect, so I don't expect him to mm. do everything how I want to, how I want him to, but then that's where the communication is going to oh, come that's in. Oh, that's all. Who else on Monday morning? Thank you. <laughs> oh. She's dope, she's dope. Layla, uh, one time, um, have you been, you're a baddie of the week because you're a baddie, but um, could you tell us some of the things that you do in the industry? Uh, well, I model. Model, okay. Yes. How um, long have you been doing that, baby? I've been doing that for about three years three now. Three years? Yes. Cool. And I just recently, I want to start getting into making my own music. So, yeah. I like to sing, okay. write. Things like that. You yeah, a little bit. You know what? You're, 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 I know you're not uh, all the way comfortable yet. Today I'm having a non alcoholic day. And whereas it, we're, we're usually turned around here, but sometimes I gotta be on the Order back in the court. You know what I'm saying? Yes. But if I did on my next segment, ask you to sing a little something, you're saying? Mm -hmm. That sexy Saturday is a little something? Um, Sage, everybody make some noise. I'll try to see if I can sing. My bad. For the seventh one. Yeah. Hey, you know what? Sage makes me look like Minnie Mouse, bro. Oh, she's so tall, bro. She got so, so complex. Uh, what um, is she intimidated by Who is? You. No, never. Oh, I told him that already. I ain't scared. I told, I told Sage that in the door. I said, look, I ain't scared of you. I ain't scared of you. You gotta intimidate me. He's like, let me pull you to the side real quick. So, uh, and. Oh, my bad. Yeah, my bad. I'm gonna let you, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna let you start off with Sage, man. Okay. Mm. Sexy Saturdays, baby. Okay, Sexy Saturdays. Okay. The white. I wasn't the white man. No, no, I, you got to see me. Anyway. Um, Sexy Saturday is here. Quick question. Tell me personally, you know, if you ever had something that you, tell me like a sexual finish that you have personally fulfilled and one that you have still on the table that is yet to be like, you know, fulfilled. Personally. You oh, don't no. have to go too deep, you know what I'm saying? No, that is a loaded you question. Hold, yeah, that yeah, yeah. Hold, hold that thought. Hold that thought. <laughs> I'm gonna take a music break. Yeah, do that. And, and we're, we're gonna talk about you. got a dick in the world, man. We're gonna talk about your freaky side, yeah? There's new music right here, man, only on Pop Radio Worldwide. I heard radio Spotify premium. Where I'm headed to the top. Keep the boss out of Boss come shop. Go to the house and do the crack. And back and down the back and at the light they get the clap. And when the city make a savage fuck, boy, do no cabbage. I'll bet you. So right now, everywhere, iTunes, Spotify, iHeartRadio, uh, everywhere that there is anything of music, uh, Prince of Pain, Pop, How I'm Cut, Murder Beats on the track, uh, K Star on the engineering, Canada Montana on the visuals. Uh, we back to business. It's sexy Saturday. Okay. All right. We got uh, Miss. What'd you say? What'd you say your stage name is, baby? Sir? My stage name. Stage, stage name. Stage. 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 stage name is Moxie. Miss Moxie. Miss Mox. That's what it is. Miss Moxie. So listen, Miss Moxie, you are one of our baddies of the week. Just along with Isis, Diana, Layla, uh, I mean Taina, Taina. Uh, salute to Taina, man, for all the marketing and work she does for me at the station. Big fans, big but uh, Tiana's in the building, Layla's in the building. Uh, we asked them some, uh, anybody just tuning in, we asked them some seductive, sexual, sexy questions. You know, I opened it up around this thing. Uh, we back 
Uh, we gave her a minute to ponder on her thoughts. Uh, I'm gonna get right at you. You know, he asked, you know what? Hey, I'm gonna let you, what was your question again? Oh, no money for you. Big Ed checking in. Uh, Big Ed here, guys. Follow me on the the body bar now on Instagram. You know, on the side of the squad, the body bar is called the uneducated one. Um, Foxy Miss Moxie. My question to you is Foxy Miss Moxie. Yes, yes, you must say it right. It's very important. Those mm -hmm. tuning in with us on the Facebook and YouTube, Foxy, very Foxy. Miss yeah, Moxie. let them know, bro. Back to hell. So, yeah, 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 back to the point. Yeah. Sexy stuff. Yes, yes. Open her up, baby. Let's get it. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so my question to you is. What's one of your finishes that you have to feel? You know, that you go Oh, the bucket. The no, bucket list. Don't What's know, man. You know, What's telling us a little bit about you. Yeah, okay, go 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 too the deep back, unless that's how you like it. Uh, oh, shit. Or, you know, you know uh, what, so a fantasy if you get to have to feel. You know, let me know. Some people who have the extra okay, so I want a fantasy that I have been fulfilled and one that I have Oh, then give us the bubble. Yeah, fuck. Yeah, give yeah, us the yeah, bubble. Yeah, the yeah, bubble is the work. One that I have had fulfilled. Hmm. Uh, okay, so <laughs> don't be thinking. Okay, I'm I kinky as hell. All right, I'm just putting that out there. Like I am very open. And you know what I'm with that? I'm, I'm in that committee as well. If, if we could have a flag, I would. I would wear it too. You know, I would go to our parades. I'm in that parade. You know, we, you know, I get so, Tell us a little bit about your kinkiness. Which one, which is one of the, okay, we got that explored and certified and snapped. You are a boss, you're saying you're a boss freak, kinky, and that's just you. It's just part of your sexual um, pers person of who you are. Okay, Could, you said you got, a, you got a double bubble for us. You got one yes. that you've already had fulfilled. Yes, okay. Give us one of them, you know. One that I've already had Do I have to wear like a raincoat right now for this shit? Yeah. Oh, jeez, in what regard? Never mind, I'm not going to have you in time. Oh, uh, <laughs> no, okay, so... Um, I'm going to wear the mask. <laughs> I really like, I like playing with Shibari. I've Shibari. got some friends and some partners that I've played Shibari. with. Shibari, what's that? Shibari is Japanese broke art. Okay. And Shibari. that is very similar to the style of... Prince of Pain might be into Shibari, I never tried it. No, 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 I've come across the video a couple of the shit in 40 times. That's a part of Shibari, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Shibari. Shibari. What's up? Shibari. I'm actually born a broke harness today. This is just what I'm going to take some broke pictures. I'm going to need everybody. I'm going to tell y'all exclusive. I'm going to make sure that I shoot all the beautiful ladies out of here today. We're going to put their pictures up. Well, I don't put their pictures. I really don't put none of y'all pictures up until y'all put them up. Like the solo. So I know that y'all are comfortable and really like that one. I put up some cool pictures. I'll make sure I tag them uh, and go show them some love. I'm sure uh, there's going to be some interesting pictures because we have it themed out like Halloween and Yang Notice around this motherfucker. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we definitely going to make it saucy. Mm -hmm. uh, so definitely... I like being tied up. You like being tied up? I like being tied up, but I'm a top. So like... I'm a top, so I'm a top. Explain that to me. Okay, so... Um, Ooh, I'm like oh, so you like being tied up. I like being tied up. Like to do. I like having that exchange, but it's not just like... You know, Fifty Shades of Grey bullshit, it's like having... Yeah, that was some bullshit. Come on, right. Look, it's pee time in the motherfucking house. Gloria in the building. It's taught me a lot about communicating and getting what I want out of life because you have to properly communicate with people. Gotta have a safety word. Safety words, you know, negotiating at a certain time. Like, knowing what you are representing, knowing what you're getting yourself into. Don't hide anything. Stay up by your, you know status and everything, just like be completely open and vulnerable with the people that you want to do it with. Otherwise, it's not worth it. You know, and like, it doesn't have to be sexual. It doesn't have to just be sexual. It doesn't have to just be It's energy. I'm an energy mother. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what else? Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
um, and you have to know like your pressure points, and you gotta be of good health, and you gotta be of good mind. Like, you're right vulnerable, so you gotta be able yeah. to trust the person that you know you're asking them yes. them inflict this kind of different kind of passion. It's a that completely it different be. mindset than just being tired on okay. the ground or something. So. What's one of the fucking list things that are on your fucking list that you haven't done yet? That I haven't done? Yes. Then I got some questions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, I want to go on like a road trip, right? I want to go to all 50 states. 50, 50 states? And uh, I got to do something in each of those states. So, you know, if I can, oh, okay. I can, you know, cover my ground, you know, okay. that's the ideal. At least at every eight hours. Right? That's not every day. Your grandkids, 30, 40 years later, you that's know. Pretty, that's pretty, that's pretty. At some point in my life, Me, your grandfather, fuck the so, air for 50 you know <laughs> Um, okay, let me, let me. Then we double back and get to every baseball stadium. Then we get to every football stadium. That's not my real fucking goal. I just don't want to get too kinky on the show today. Right, right, right. No. <laughs> so we're going to ask you after the break. I feel y'all later. Yeah, with yeah, the camera. Fox, Fox, Miss, uh, Miss, Miss, Ma, Ma, Ma. Can he get a name now? Moxie. 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 So, Foxy, Moxie. Moxie. Foxy, Miss Moxie, right? Yes. Her um, name. You're in the you in what did, you, what did you get the name for? Yeah, where did you get? Foxy Miss Moxie. Where did you get that? Okay, Foxy Miss Moxie is my burlesque name, first and foremost. And I do a lot of things with burlesque. I, uh, I dance. I do all different types of dancing, go-go dancing, getting into belly dancing. Oh, bro, bro. I was with a burlesque girl myself. So, oh, that's, yeah. well, so that's your stage? Lots of, lots of different um, circus and burlesque. And cabaret side show X. I'm very interested in Jack. I'm gonna get to your circus that. side here in a second. Yes. Okay. Uh, first things first. We all sexy Saturdays right now. So I asked the other ladies a couple of sexual questions. Yes. I just asked uh, or asked you some things, and you gave us two or oh, you fucking this thing. <laughs> Favorite sexual position? We got a curve. Uh, we got a sidearm over here. Remember, I said from the side. You know. So, side what's your favorite? You look like a climber. A climber. On top, kind of. Girl. Uh, it's your nah. top, no? Is she said, oh, no. Hey, no. Hey, proud people. What's your favorite sexual position? I could, you know, do this thing for a very long time, and I found what works is just to relax. And I don't want to do anything. And I just, you know, when I'm with my partners, the people that I'm currently with, you know, I like to kind of be in a little ball, okay. and it's great. Okay. Okay. Keep <laughs> um, of course, yeah, ball, uh, the man, man, man. of course, you answered my two second questions, which is, of course, outdoor sex, right? Yeah. You with that, and with the it. swings and. Uh, okay, yeah, you do a little time out. out. Okay, <laughs> this is what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to start from the very end uh, with Isis, and then I'm going to come all the way back around. Uh, and uh, Isis, booking uh, information and your social media. Because I need all my people to go through their pages and social media. You already know my name Isis, y'all. Hit me up on Instagram, IG, all of their flower. L-I-B-R-A Flower Tiana Snapchat, y'all can't oh, remember I'm sorry. that That's too personal okay. But if, 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 if you really, if you really She got premium <laughs> Snapchat, <laughs> it's the bleak in her bio on Instagram You want to take that risk, go ahead Go get them Barbie You know how to spell me as in B-A-R-B-I Loki And I'm going to Google search, yo No, I'm going to Google search, yo That's the only bear 50 at gmail.com Dope That's it Beautiful Tiana you can find me on Facebook at Tiana Regina, T-I-A-N-A, thank you. Look behind that L-A-D-Y-I-N-A-H. You can find me on Instagram at Tiana She likes to act, and uh, she wants to get into film. Jay Davis, shout out to Jay Davis, man, the director. Uh, I haven't been put in projects with him before. Look out for it, Jay Davis, I'm on the side of your way. Um, Layla, booking information, social media, beautiful. My Even the TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> My IG is uh, Layla, spelled L E J L A underscore B C B E S I. Uh, same thing as Facebook, and uh, those are the only two plat platforms I have right now. Beautiful. Uh, I'm going to have a close out the show with a couple of little notes. Real quick. No, no, better. Don't better, think better, I better. forgot. You don't think one minute. You hear me? So, um. Uh, <laughs> Miss Foxy Mox, right? I'm gonna call her the other name. You know what I'm saying? It's just so you. You know what I'm saying? I, I really like 
to her her name. Well, the one she introduced me to. Your hair looks beautiful. I like your little outfit and stuff. It looks you know, like you're already tied up and bonded and shit. You know? You lay on that bitch, though. I've been staring since she was yeah. here. Okay. So, no, I, don't I do want to drop your second business, which is, uh, describe it. The, you said you had another page of, like, yes. the circus kind of So, I've got uh, my Instagram, which is foxy underscore miss underscore moxie. That's my Instagram. You can get me on Facebook at just foxy miss moxie. And my sideshow page is at the Madhouse show. Marvels, all lowercase. You can find us at Madhouse Marvels dash sideshow on Facebook. So, if you come support our pages, we are putting together a Halloween video. Um, tomorrow we're covering pumpkins live, and it's going to be part of our video, and I'm really excited about it. I love my side show, they've gotten me through the bullshit that is 2020. You've given me a lot to look rough, forward to. Rough. Yeah. Um, on Halloween, do not forget, 2020, our first, you know, you got to do things, I had to do shows. Uh, also, salute to our show, Way Out in L.A., Tom Bomb. Podcast, um, look out for issues, uh, shows weekly. Um, we've had to create different Zoom episodes and interviews due to the COVID 19. So, anybody that's a uh, small business, uh, artists, models that survived during these hard times and got a little bit more creative uh, for fitness trainers and everything, I salute you. You hear me? Uh, big ups to you guys. Uh, keep the fight alive. You hear me? Right yes. Uh, Blindside, tell me where to follow you and all that good stuff. Well, you're more than welcome to follow me on Instagram, guys, at uh, Blindside the Bodyguard. Uh, Blindside underscore the Bodyguard. Again, we spelled the um, Ingrid Clay, D A Bodyguard. I'll get there. Um, shout out to everyone who came out today. Thank you for all the beautiful women who came out and pop for you know coming out and blessing us with this opportunity. You know, and coming out and push our exposure and, you know, just grow as an individual, you know, interchange and encouragement. Shut up to the way that's good for getting those angles, let me hold my stuff again and throw shots. You know, let me tell me, like, yeah, you know, you got food on your face, you know, important things like that, guys. Shout out, shout out to the whole Bob Radio team, Deidre, Brianna, uh, Dwight, Cannon Montana, uh, Big Ant, and everybody else, man, uh, Diana, uh, everybody who does our social media marketing. I love you guys. I really do. Uh, ain't no eyes in the team. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's all for one and one for all. It's your boy Prince of Pain. Um, I'm a, I think I got a second real quick. Send some shout outs, baby, down there at the end. Shout out to Prince Milan, and then my son, my five-year-old son. So I'm going to be showing the deal to later. Pieces of it all. Yeah. Shout out to my family. See ya. Shout out to my family. Your family, baby. Go. Uh, Layla? Shout out to everybody supporting the industry. And uh, of course, shout out to family, family's own support. And here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Miss Foxy Boxy. I want to shout out to my mom for supporting me and letting me be me and being able to be open with her. And I want to shout out to my hairdresser, who made me feel really special and made me get my favorite hair I've ever gotten this year. Chris Haas. You can follow her on Instagram at Chris Haas, H A A S, underscore 86, I believe. And she will make you look pretty. She'll 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 make you look pretty. Shout out to you guys for supporting us. Shout out for all the people doing something positive. She'll worry. Uh, Pop and Pop Radio Worldwide, iHeartRadio, Spotify, premium with another sexy Saturdays. Uh, my girl Layla right here promised me some notes at the end of the show. Uh, so bless us, Layla. I've been having dreams, sitting on a dribbly, lifting in the air. I never let it go again. As I'm waking up, Suddenly the sky erupts Trees are looking in Shut up!
iHeartRadio, Spotify Premium, baby. I'm an amazing time. Good energy. I loved it. I tried to get an invite back to Boston. Good time. Thanks for having me. It was turned up. I had fun. My first time being here. This is very important to the beginning of my modeling career, you know. <laughs> so it's very instrumental. You all saw the first. It's Halloween spirit. Make sure to stay connected to a Halloween virtual fashion show, special uh, gang performances by the Red Gang twins, and many more. These are my baddies of the week. Baddies of the week on your pop radio worldwide. I fuck radio and Spotify. Premium.